my, my first, I would say, personal experience with Prabhupada besides getting a cookie from him or him patting me on the head was when I was four years old. Uh, I was at the time dressing as a sannyasi and had my danda and I, we all met Srila Prabhupada at the airport and I was in the, we were all in the kirtan, I was in it and then at the end of it all I got to ride back to the temple in the Cadillac with Srila Prabhupada. So there was the driver in the front seat, my father was in the passenger seat doing security and Prabhupada was here and I was in the back seat. Adanda and you know Prabhupada was there and I was just like literally this was the best day of my life. And uh, so we're on our way back from the airport and uh, Srila Prabhupada takes out this big cookie that someone had given him. And he could see that I, I was obviously interested in the cookie. So he broke it in half and gave it to me. And I just ate it down real quick, just buried the thing. I was, you know, super excited. And then I'm sitting there, and Prabhupada has just barely got into his. I think he was talking to, I think, Hari Sari or somebody. Whoever was in the front seat, the driver. He was talking to the driver. And... Uh, didn't eat his right away. So I'm sitting there with mine finished and Prabhupada still has his thing and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm a Brahmin. I'm supposed to wash my hands. And Prabhupada's sitting right next to me and he's going to see that I don't wash my hands after I eat. And I'm four years old. This is the biggest problem that I could ever have. <laughs> And uh, I just remember, you know, my dunda sitting next to the door, and I'm just like, I'm, I'm touching it. I'm thinking about what's going to happen. You know, am I going to be exposed as a smart Brahmin or a false Brahmin? <laughs> so uh, I, I, keep, I keep cool, though. I, I watch Prabhupada and see what he does. And Prabhupada eats his cookie. And I, without touching his fingers to his lips. So he eats his cookie, and then when he's finished, he goes. <laughs> I look over and I say, <laughs> and uh, the time it was just such a relief, you know what I mean? There were all these pressures on me, you know. I'm a Brahmin. I gotta wash my hands, or maybe you know, take a shower, even take a bath. You know, this is some pretty intense pressure, and. Prabhupada went, and instantly my suffering vanished, you know, the suffering that was in my mind, you know, disappeared, and uh, this, this event meant, has meant more and more to me over the years as the time has passed, and I've had different realization and experiences, and I've, you know, I've come to take it as that meaning time, place, and circumstance. This one morning, prop, I, me, and this other uh, devotee boy named Susil got to walk with Prabhupada. And uh, I guess we had had the best scores in Bhagavad Gita class, so, you know, only two of us were allowed to go because, you know, they didn't want the whole Guru Kula disturbing Prabhupada's morning walk. So I had to promise to, you know, be quiet and be respectful, and uh, I got to go. And uh, it was really awesome because uh, Prabhupada remembered me from L.A., and it just made me feel like, you know, out of all these people that were surrounding him, he just, like, he knew me. You know, I was small, and we, I, we're used to everybody being bigger than us and just ignoring us, and it was really cool to, that he like took the time to, he remembered me and, you know, anyway, when we got to go on the walk together, he, he told me to walk right next to him and I just, I just felt like it was another experience where I'm like, looking back now, it means so much more, but even at the time, it was the highlight of my life. Like, at the time, it was the highlight of my life. It would be like nowadays a, any celebrity or Obama sitting next to you. It was literally 
the most important person in my world, I was right next to them. You know what I mean? And it was uh, what, but what really, like over the years, it struck me is how I felt so in awe of Prabhupada, but Prabhupada never came off like that with me. He was always like my grandfather or an uncle. What really makes me think about this more is I realize that none of us would know each other if not for Prabhupada. All of the friends and wonderful people that I know that my family's married into their families or their friends of ours, none of that would have happened if, if, if Prabhupada hadn't come here. You know, we'd have been in New Jersey and Buffalo and... You know what I mean? Everybody would have been everywhere. You know, maybe maybe some of us would know each other because I know a lot of groups of friends join, but for the most part, most of the people I know, I, I wouldn't know. And it always strikes me. And I know some fantastic people. Like through everything, through everything we, I've gone through as a devotee, what's been amazing is I've met some very incredible devotees through this process. And, uh, you know, I think it's very important to thank Srila Prabhupada for that, you know, just the people we've met. They wouldn't have been as this good a quality people if not for him. And that's something that affects us in our daily lives. And I think about Prabhupada every day. I can't help it. He was just one cool cat. <laughs> Prima Donna, Corona, Prachu.